checks the selected IV fluid or proper fluid. Um, clarity, expiration date. You can hang that up on there. No. Selects the appropriate equipment, which would be your easy I.O. needle, which would be the adult for this skill. A syringe, pre-filled syringe with saline, um, and your extension set, which is still in the bag there. We'll get to that in a second here. Identifies the selected patient population. Oh, that rhyme does one there. Um, selects the proper administration set. Connects the administration set to the bag. Maintaining sterility of the ends. the drip chamber. And flushes the tubing. That gets the blood carpet there. All right. Um, at this time, you could prepare and flush the extension tubing. That syringe will screw right to the blue end. And just slowly flush to the water. Saline just drips up the end. All right. Now, you want to identify the proper anatomical site for the I.O. puncture, proximal tibia. Explain the contraindications, fracture, excessive tissue, infection, significant orthopedic procedure. Confirms and cleans the insertion site with alcohol. Ready then? Again, it's selected the adult needle, attaches the needle to the drill. All right, inserts e easy IO needle at a 90 degree angle, pushes it through the skin first without drilling, ensures that the 5 mm mark is visible. You will then penetrate the bone cortex by squeezing the driver's trigger and release the trigger when a pop is felt. Pop. Stabilizes the catheter and removes the power driver, then unscrews the stylet. And your stylet would then go into a sharps container. Attaches the extension set to the lure lock connection. Extension set to the lure lock connection. Assures placement by any two of the following. Catheter is firmly seated, notices blood in the catheter hub, able to aspirate blood or marrow, so you could try to aspirate. No signs of extravation with fluid administration. Like I said, you could push fluid. Assuming the placement is confirmed, you would now connect the administration set to the extension set and begins, I'll just screw right on there, begins infusion with pressure. 
pressure may be needed to infuse the fluid. Addison's just right over the back. Right. You gotta take it off the hook. Grab through, pull it through. Set up like that because it knows all your, you realize all your tubing's already all hooked up. Like, All right, let's cut and let yeah. Zach practice. Let me take a look at it. Um, where I don't even know where I am. Connects administration set and begins infusion with pressure. Explain stabilization and removal techniques. Stabilization, you could use bulky dressings, uh, bulk up on the size of the device, and then secure that down with tape, which you don't have to do that. Um, removal, if it needs to be removed, you could disconnect your extension set from the hub, and you would twist Clockwise, right? Clockwise as you pull out. Straight out, and then it would go into 